Okay, hi everybody. Uh, so the next assignment for Forming Ideas is a book poster book or a poster book poster, which means we are taking a, uh, a large piece of paper. This one is 11 by 17. All the examples you'll see tonight are done with an 11 by 17 piece of paper. Uh, and I, I used a bone folder. Uh, and in some cases I used an X-Acto blade and a ruler, but not in all cases, just in some of the cases, you'll see. So here's um, the basic, the basic, basic instructions, okay, which I will post for you. They're just the piece of paper, and then I showed you how I folded and in some cases cut. All right, so the first one, version one, here it is, has a front cover, a back cover, right, and then page one, two, three and four, five and six. And the way that I achieve this is by, here's the center, is by just simply making the folds, which are indicated here, and then cutting down the center line here, right? So then when I open it up like this and fold it, I've got my front cover, my back cover, and my interiors, okay? But also the poster inside. Right. So the idea behind this assignment is that you're going to make both a book and a poster in one assignment, right? One object. Okay. So the second one has no cutting at all. It's just uh, a front cover, a back cover, and one, two, three, four pages with the center poster. Okay. So just very simple folded shape. Now, of course, you can make a variation on any of these forms. These are just the, the simplest ones. Here's the third one. Okay, so we've got the front cover and the back cover, and then this opens up like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? But the way that I've folded it in the center, there's a little window poking through here, and then it opens up to your poster. So it's just instead of folding it all the way to the halfway mark, like this one's folded all the way up to the halfway mark, this is folded halfway to the halfway mark, if that makes sense. And those, those indications are here. All right, so that's this one. Okay. So like I say, there's a million variations on this. This is, I was just messing around. Um, here's one that's, that's made out of one poster like this, one piece of paper, and I decided I was going to try and make a square one. So I just folded um, this top corner to down to the center line here, this one, sorry, this one up to the center line here, and then folding again, I just made a square, right? So there's a square version of the same thing. You can do all kinds of fun designs using these sort of folded out pages here. Again, there's like a million variations on all of these. Um, and then these last examples I'm gonna show you come from this book, The Art of the Fold, um, by Heidi Kyle and Ulla Warchall. Um, so a lot of them are really, the, the earlier versions are actually quite complicated in terms of folding. I wanted to make something simple out of one page, so I went all the way forward to the chapter on booklet fold variations, just chapter 24. And here I found a page of examples that I will send you and show you. Okay, but this is, these are the basic, the basic folds. This one I've already shown you, the four, uh, sorry, the, uh, the eight section um, fold with the cut in the center, right? That was the first one I showed you. Then there's another version that's called the eight, se eight section center cut. So that is this one. So instead of folding it, um, oops, sorry, this one. Instead of folding it just um, to make uh, eight pages, this one gives you much more pages because you're folding it, um, instead of just folding it twice again. So, right, you can see it's just got much, it's got several more folds in it than, than the original variation. And because you've done that, 
you've got the opportunity to fold it into these great uh, sort of vertical pages like this, right? So you've got many more pages, even though it's, and it's got that center cut that allows you, there's the center cut here, that allows you to have all those pages. The center cut lives after you've done all your folds. The center cut lives from he, goes from here to here. All right. So I will again. I will. I will send this to you so you can you can um, look at the instructions more carefully. So there's that one that is called the eight section center cut. This one is the eight section offset cut. So in this one, you make your um, you make your eight pages one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And instead of making your cut down the center here, you make a cut here and a cut here. And you end up with something that's a little bit more structural, an extra page that kind of sticks out like this. So when you open it up, you've got this great little um, kind of pocket page that lives in here. Okay, so same idea, just a different cut. This one is called the eight section offset cut here. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is this one. It's called a seven section dos a do. Uh, do a do. So you make your eight sections and then you just slice off the eighth uh, fold. Okay, so you end up with seven sections and then you make a, in your seven section fold, you make a cut here, you skip a panel and then you make a cut there. So when that, with that, you end up with something that looks like this, this really great little book that's like back to back, right? So there you've got a little mini book here and a little mini book here that opens up to your poster like this. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections, a coat that goes from there to there and a cut that goes from there to there. So pretty simple. Um, so we can talk about uh, content uh, in class. So I hope this is uh, interesting to you. Um, I um, wanted to, again, just give you a few different variations and set your imagination running. Um, you can make a ton of variations based on these very simple instructions. Okay, have fun.